Grado Chambers Savage Gunter. Is it recording? Are we good? It is recording. Okay. okay, so parents, um, this is a webinar, so we're trying to get the information out to you and welcome. This is our fourth grade meeting followed by our fifth grade meeting for Gainesville Virtual Academy. Yes, so this is fourth Ms. grade. Ms. Vargas is going to translate. Oh, sorry. Okay, padres, buenas tardes. Este es un webinar para informarles todo acerca de la Gainesville Virtual Academy, la Academia Virtual de Gainesville, de los grados cuarto y quinto. Yes, so first we're going to go over some things uh, for fourth grade. And in fourth grade, the GBA teachers are myself, Ms. Chambers, Ms. Savage, and Ms. Gunter. Ok, las profesoras que van a estar en la academia virtual van a ser Miss Chambers, Miss Savage y Miss Gunter. So, I am Miss Chambers and or Catherine Chambers and I am from Gainesville. I was raised in Gainesville. I went to Gainesville uh, Middle School, to Gainesville High School. I now teach, this is my third year teaching. Miss Chambers, let me interrupt. No, you're fine. Just do small um, bit, so Ms. Vargas can translate. I keep forgetting I have to be translated. <laughs> so alright, it's alright. We want to we want to translate for all of our parents. Okay, ella es la maestra Chambers y ella ha estado en Gainesville, estuvo en la middle school, estuvo en la high school, lleva tres años como maestra. Yes, and so this will be my third year teaching. Um, I and my home school is Centennial, where I actually went to school when I was little. Okay, ella lleva tres años como maestra y la escuela donde ella enseña es la Centennial. I'm really excited for this virtual academy year so I can learn all the things with the students this year because we're all experiencing the new. Okay, ella está muy contenta o muy feliz de poder enseñar en la academia virtual y de tener esta experiencia con los alumnos. Can you see me? Yes. Um, I'm Miss Savage, Logan Savage. Um, I just recently graduated from North Georgia and this will be my first year teaching. Ella es la maestra Savage y está recién graduada de North of Georgia de la universidad. Um, I'm also getting married in November, so in the middle of trying to figure this out, um, I'm also trying to plan a wedding and hope that it happens. Um, but I'm super excited to get to know all my sweet fourth graders and see what this year will hold. Ella está próxima a casarse en, 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 a mediados de noviembre y está tratando de figurar cómo hacer todo esto de la academia virtual preparando la boda, pero está muy contenta de poder estar con sus estudiantes de cuarto grado. Thank you, Miss Savage. Gracias, Miss Savage. I'm Miss Gunner. I, um, Elizabeth Gunner. I have taught for, this is going on my sixth year with Gainesville City Schools. I started in third grade with Fair Street, then I moved to Monday Mill, which is my home school right now. I oh. received my teacher. Oh, sorry. Ella es la señora Gunter. Ella lleva seis años como maestra. Eh, empezó con primer grado y ella enseña en la Monday Mill Academy y esa es la escuela de ella ahora. I received my teaching degree from Piedmont College in Athens, and I look forward to learning with all of my students. Okay, ella recibió su, su grado como maestra en la universidad en Athens, y está ahora para la mundo y es la maestra. And thank you, Ms. Gunter. So this is for um, parents to use. These are all our email addresses. Estos son los emails que los padres pueden utilizar para contactar a estas maestras, que son las que van a estar encargadas de la academia virtual. Yes, and please feel free. I know that teachers have already been reaching out to parents um, for their child about logging into things and getting in contact with them. 
ustedes pueden estar libres de contactarse en cualquier momento con las maestras a estos links que estamos dejándoles en la pantalla. So please feel free to email any of us at any time if you have any questions or concerns or need anything cleared up. Siéntanse libres de escribir un email a estos correos electrónicos en el momento que sientan que tienen pues algún problema, alguna confusión, necesitan claridad con algo. Um, we included the fourth grade schedule. Ella va a mostrarles el schedule de cuarto grado. Um, because we are being a virtual academy, we made our virtual days similar to what our face-to-face -face days would be. Eh, el schedule va a ser como, la academia va a ser virtual, pero van a tratar de que sea muy parecido a que los niños estén cara a cara en la escuela. Um, as you can see, um, it's pretty broad as of right now, but each week the students will receive um, what they're supposed to do and their independent work as well as their Zoom meetings. Eh, los estudiantes, ustedes pueden ver en el horario o las clases que ellos van a tener en la academia virtual y esas uh, clases las van a tener por Zoom. And like I stated earlier, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please um, don't hesitate to email any of us. Si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, no se vayan a restringir en hacer un correo electrónico para que se les aclare las dudas que puedan tener. Um, Google Classroom is what we will be using daily throughout um, GBA in fourth grade. Um, so this is where your teachers will post your instructional videos, Um, your assignments and any important announcements um, that you need to know about. So to get logged into Google Classroom, um, your student's email will be their first name, their last name, the last four digits of their GTID, and then at gcssk12.net. And um, their passwords have already been generated, so your teachers should be reaching out soon with those if they have not already. Ok, en Google Classroom es lo que ellos van a usar diariamente a través de la academia virtual como una instrucción que sea cara a cara, pero pues es por la computadora, ¿no? En cuarto grado, los maestros estarán posteando todos los videos que van a instruir a los niños, las tareas y los anuncios importantes diariamente. Para que los estudiantes puedan entrar en la página de Google Classroom, ellos tienen que poner su, para el email su primer nombre, el apellido y los últimos cuatro dígitos, um, más el gtid arroba Gainesville City School System K12.net. Ese es el email. Y el password, eh, un password seguro va a ser asignado con... Uh, mayúscula, letras en mayúscula, letras en minúscula, números y símbolos uh, para tener un um, tiempo online que sea seguro. Por favor, no compartan sus passwords con nadie. And I would like okay, to say I, about I, the, Excuse um, me, uh, I have uh, a question. Yes. Uh, the student has to create uh, their own passwords or the teachers give to them. That's a great question and I wanted to clarify. Thank you for asking. Um, the student usernames and passwords were all created um, by this, the district um, and the teachers will be providing that when they call. Um, so the, the um, parents, if you would look for numbers um, that may be blocked or they may be hidden when they are calling because they're probably using their own devices um, because Uh, we, we can't email uh, that particular uh, username or password for, the, for security. So just be looking for a, a number, it could be blocked, um, or um, an unknown text number as well. So just uh, you know, be patient with us. Um, if the teacher hasn't already reached out, we are continuing to do that. Our hours are 12 uh, to 7, and we are going to make every effort to reach you um, today. Um, so we are ready to roll on Monday. Ok, ustedes deben esperar que las maestras se van a contactar con ustedes para darles el, el password y el username 
porque es el distrito escolar el que los va a crear. Ms. Gunter, are you going to talk about I Ready for Us? Yes. And Ms. Gunter, if you can move closer to your microphone, I don't, um, some people were saying they couldn't hear you very well, so just talk real loud. But our math program has two components. It's Ready Math and I Ready. They are very rigorous programs. Ready Math is what we will use for instructions most of the time. I Ready is like a program that gives the students what they need on whatever they need. Ok, en la próxima semana van a tener un test de matemáticas y los niños como van a ser evaluados en eso y es muy importante que ayuden a sus niños en este test, estén seguros de que ellos tienen un lápiz y papel para hacer las operaciones matemáticas. Eh, como que impulsenlos a ellos para que ellos puedan hacerlo mejor y en todas las respuestas. Sus niños no van a ser como penalizados por, por la nota que saquen en ese test. Es simplemente permitirle a los maestros empezar a trabajar con ellos y ustedes van a recibir más información la próxima semana en cuanto a la plataforma para empezar ese test. And next week they're going to be taking a diagnostic for iReady. And it is very important not to help them with this because this is going to determine what lessons they're assigned by iReady to help them on their level. Ok, es importante que ustedes como padres de familia no le vayan a ayudar a los niños a hacer estas operaciones matemáticas porque basado en lo que ellos tengan como crédito es lo que, van a, es lo que va a determinar cómo los maestros les pueden ayudar porque ahí pueden ver ellos como en qué nivel están. And teachers may also assign lessons within iReady, too. Los maestros van a estar dando las tareas para esto también. And on behalf of fourth grade, I want to say that we're all really excited to um, do GBA and to meet all of you. And like I said earlier, don't hesitate um, to email us if you have any questions or anything. Um, that you need cleared up. Ok, ya como maestra de cuarto grado también quiere decirles pues eh, insistentemente que si ustedes necesitan preguntas, si tienen dudas, por favor no, no se, no, no duden en escribir un correo electrónico para ella ayudarles. Thank you. Thank you, fourth grade. Thank you, fourth grade teachers. Appreciate it. Gracias, maestras de cuarto grado. Lo apreciamos. All right. <clears throat> Can everyone say this? Yes. All right. Do person or Yeah. There you go. All right. Welcome to fifth grade and many of you have probably heard from us already and if you have not we will be contacting you soon. Um, we're excited about this year and excited to get to know your child and right now we'll take a minute to introduce ourselves. You will also be able to find a video in our Google Classroom. My name is Miss Wingo and I love teaching. It truly is a passion of mine and I can't wait to meet each one of you and your children. And as we begin this wonderful journey in virtual learning and some of the things about me is that I love to be by the ocean, love my boys and yes. Stop one second. So Ms. Vargas can translate. Oh. Sorry, all right. we're all learning. Don't worry, all don't worry. No okay. worry. Bienvenidos a con las maestras de quinto grado para la academia virtual. Ella es la señora Wingo, Laura Wingo. Um, ella ama enseñar y está, pues no puede esperar hasta empezar este viaje tan interesante y tan hermoso de aprender virtualmente. Ella ama el océano, le gusta pasar tiempo con sus niños. 
Ah, y está trabajando en los proyectos DIY at home. Y no, o sea, está muy, pero muy contenta de poder trabajar con ustedes. Este es el, el correo electrónico de ella. Ustedes lo pueden ver en la pantalla en caso de que necesiten hacerle alguna pregunta. Are we ready to go to the next one? Thank you for your patience. It's okay. We're all learning. It's all good. Hi, I'm Mrs. Morgan. Yo soy la señora Morgan. Um, a little bit about me. I am from West Virginia. Ella es de West Virginia. I have four children. Tiene cuatro niños. And I love to teach as well. Y ama enseñar. I am what you might call a non-traditional student because I graduated from Western Governors University, which is an online college. Ella se graduó de una universidad y cogió su degree en online. So the beauty of that is I'm here to tell you that we can do this together because I am a testament to being an online student and achieving a degree. Ok, ella es un buen testimonio de que esta academia virtual va a funcionar muy bien para todos porque ella adquirió de esa manera su degree y, y lo hizo exitosamente. And when your student says that they're having trouble logging on, um, they can't do it, I'm here to tell you that we can. Ok, si de pronto los niños tienen algún problema cuando van a hacer el login, alguna dificultad, ella está allí para ayudarles. And I also want to share with you that we're learning all of this together, as Dr. Crumley has said. Um, so we all need to have patience and just do what we can do and have no worries. And we will make a change for the good. And this is all good. Okay. Uh, ella dice que todo va a estar bien. Y lo que se necesite hacer se va a hacer en el momento que se tiene que hacer. Y va a ser exitoso el programa. Um, last note, if you are on this call and you are in my class and I've already called you, feel free to give me a call back and I can give you your passwords as well. And I have my email there for any time that you need to contact me. Thank you. Okay. Ella dice que ahí está su correo electrónico en caso de que necesiten algo y ella se va a contactar con ustedes para darles el correo electrónico y el password. Hi, I'm Ms. Morales, and I have been teaching for 31 years, but I moved to Georgia in 2002 and started in Gainesville in 2006. I am a big LSU fan, go Tigers. And um, oh, Laura, I forgot to put my email on that. Would you type that in for me? We've got it actually on a slide below this. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. anyway. Hold on one second. Transition. Okay. Ella es la señora Morales, Roxanne Morales, y ella lleva como maestra enseñando 31 años, pero empezó a enseñar en Georgia en el 2006. Eh, ya está empezando con quinto grado. Y es una aventura, es muy bonito poder hacer este viaje virtual con todos los niños y está esperando a a ver cómo esto va a ser un éxito total como soporte educacional para los niños este año. I received my master's from Northwestern State University in Natchitoches, Louisiana, and that too was online. So I'm uh, a student of online education as well. I got my EDS in December, graduated with my EDS, and um, looking forward to this entire year We will challenge you and we will support you in any way that you need. You just be sure you contact us. We've got this. Ok, ella también es una, un ejemplo de haber estudiado online porque obtuvo su EDS online en una universidad de Luisiana y, y ella dice que todo va a salir bien con esta academia virtual y está pues también muy emocionada de poder ayudar. Are we ready? Yes. 
All right, you may want to take a moment just to take a snapshot of these email addresses so that you can reach us when you need to. Also, let me point out one more thing. Um, my name only has one N in it. So a lot of times I don't get email because people stick two in it, but it's Roxanne with one N. Ok, aquí ustedes pueden ver la información de contacto de las tres maestras encargadas de la Academia Virtual. Y la señora Roxanne explica que a veces padres de familia le envían su correo electrónico con dos Ns, pero se escribe solamente con una N. Tómense por favor el tiempo de escribir esos correos electrónicos y tenerlos en cuenta en caso de que necesiten alguna información extra o alguna explicación. Ooh, I don't, oh, I guess I'm trying to email someone. All right, parent contact. So throughout the today and possibly into the weekend, hopefully not, we're going to be reaching out to you because we do want to make sure that you do have your child's email address, their sign-on password, as well as the technology that you need. So if there's any question that you have about um, anything, please let us know when we call and you also have our email addresses. Also in Google Classroom, I'll go ahead and okay. let you um, Desde hoy, y posiblemente todo el fin de semana, las maestras de sus niños van a estar en contacto con ustedes para ayudarlos con el acceso a Google Classroom, que es la plataforma en la cual los niños van a estar en la academia virtual y les van a enseñar a entender cómo van a hacer eh, lo de los passwords, lo del de correo electrónico para poder acceder a las clases por Zoom. Um, and we are asking that if you can go ahead and we've emailed a link to your child about how to access Google Classroom, if they can try to do that this week, and if they run into any problems, let us know. The sooner we can uh, take care of that, the better off your child would, will be starting next week. Okay, eh, ustedes van a tener un link con el que pueden empezar a, a trabajar ya la próxima semana. Y tan pronto como ustedes se les dificulte, tengan algún programa, a problema, por favor, déjenselo saber a las maestras por medio de los correos electrónicos de ellas para que ellas puedan ayudarles. And also in Google Classroom, we will have a document added in there detailing evening live Zooms that you and your child will have available to ask questions about work. Ustedes pueden mirar en Classroom, en Google Classroom, un documento que está detallando eh, en las tardes eh, como las reuniones por Zoom que van a tener sus niños y las um, preguntas que ustedes tengan acerca de ese trabajo. If you have any technology issues, if we have the answers, we can also give it to you then. If we don't have the answers, we will certainly make a note and get those answers for you. Okay, si tienen algún problema con la tecnología, uh, pueden preguntar si las maestras de pronto no saben, ellas van a buscar la manera de ayudarles a encontrar la, la solución. One thing that we do ask is that you not share any personal information on this uh, live Zoom because you are not the only one there. It's all the other students and parents that decide to join. So if you need to make a parent conference, let's go at just, you can let us know and then we will contact you after the live Zoom. Ok, por favor, se les pide que no vayan ustedes a compartir ninguna información personal ni passwords con nadie. Estas reuniones de Zoom van a ser solamente entre los estudiantes, los maestros y los padres de familia. Y por favor, no compartan ninguna, ninguna de esa información. Si ustedes de pronto necesitan una conferencia, la pueden solicitar eh, y se podrá hacer, la solicitan a las maestras por medio de los correos electrónicos y después de la reunión de Zoom, ellas podrán atender eso. All right, so Google Classroom, we're using it daily um, and we're going to be posting each day instructional videos, assignments, 
and important announcements daily. Google Classroom va a ser usada diariamente para la academia virtual como si fuera cara a cara, una instrucción cara a cara en quinto grado. Uh, los maestros estarán posteando videos eh, instruccionales, tareas y anuncios importantes diariamente. And then below is just how to log in and we will be calling you if we have not already to make sure that you have that information. Ahí en esta parte ustedes pueden ver que estamos mostrando cómo los eh, alumnos pueden entrar en la Google Classroom. Eh, poniendo el correo electrónico del estudiante que sería el primer nombre, el apellido y los últimos cuatro dígitos de la GTID eh, arroba gcssk12.net So, uh, because these are secure passwords unique to your child, please make sure that you are not sharing them with anyone else and that when you are entering them, you are paying attention to how, if it's uppercase or lowercase, as it is case sensitive. Okay, eh, para los passwords, este passwords estén seguros de que haya mayúsculas, min, letras mayúsculas, letras minúsculas, números y símbolos para que haya seguridad en online y por favor no compartan sus passwords con nadie. Um, I'm gonna, Dr. Cromley, we've got two people raising hands in there. I don't know if you see that. But <laughs> yes, I do. Um, and uh, I addressed that at the beginning, but I will say again, um, this is a webinar Um, there's not really a way to interact, um, and I do apologize. We will have more or less, um, excuse me, more informal meetings um, uh, as we go through the year and the semester. Um, so I do apologize. Right now we're just trying to get the information out as quickly as possible and reach you and, and set up some conferences in our, in our new new near future, excuse me. All right, so as always, uh, let, her, let her translate oh. just in case. Yeah. Ah, okay, um, <laughs> uh, Mr. Chat eh, está diciéndole a la maestra Wingo que ella, um, o oh, okay, que, que disculpe porque van a tener más reuniones de webinars como en el futuro cercano y que van a continuar como desarrollando y comunicando la, todo lo que se espera a través de este nuevo como reto que estamos teniendo en el distrito escolar. All right, our class expectations. Just as if we were in the school building, we are going to continue with the expectation of development of character and communicating those expectations through our Be The One Challenge, which focuses on the four R's, responsibility, respect, readiness, and being a good role model. Okay, vamos a continuar como desarrollando uh, la comunicación, uh, que hayan unas buenas expectaciones a través de estar como bien en este nuevo um, reto, o enfocados en las cuatro R's, que son las reglas basadas en la responsabilidad, el respeto, a uh, la lectura y, hace, y ser un buen modelo para otros. And we will also be going over the first week good netiquette rules on how we um, communicate in chats, how we communicate one with one another, and how we're expected to act during a live Zoom. Okay, vamos a tener como un plan de disciplina con los padres de familia para poder estar pues todos enfocados haciendo las cosas como se deben. And then we also have our full discipline plan in the parent student handbook. Eh, este plan va a estar descrito en el libro del estudiante y van a ver muchos detalles. But we already know everyone's going to do a wonderful job. Pero lo que sí sabemos es que todo el mundo va a hacer un excelente trabajo. This is another good slide for you to take a picture of. Um, it is our fifth grade schedule and it will be the basic layout for the year. Um, 
and we will send out a week of, a glance of the week each week so you as parents kind of know what's coming each week and then each day we will post to the Google Classroom their assignment. Ok, ustedes pueden tomarle una foto a este schedule de quinto grado. Ahí están organizados los horarios para la academia virtual, pero se van a estar posteando uh, diariamente el horario. Please note that a lot of the activities that we build in will be to support our live Zooms. So it would be real easy to skip some activities that happen before the Zoom. But as closely as you can maintain that schedule, it will benefit your child greatly. Okay, van a ver las actividades en, el, en las reuniones de Zoom que son como live, o sea, que son en vivo. Y entonces, por favor, ustedes, padres de familia, respeten ese horario para, los, para que los niños estén a tiempo en las clases virtuales. And let me just say one thing, uh, if I can interrupt you, Miss Wingo. Yes. Um, we want uh, to make sure that our students are successful regardless if, if they are here with us or at home. Um, and so that's why we have created a schedule to keep um, our students busy because we believe that if they are not busy, then they're not going to be engaged in learning. And okay, that's a, translate, translate. Thank you. It's all right. It's okay. Okay. And I have one more Mr. Chad dijo que es importante que los estudiantes entiendan que, que van a estar ocupados todo el tiempo, um, no porque estén en la casa, no van a tener como el mismo horario que si estuvieran en la escuela, porque lo que nos interesa es que sean exitosos y que salgan adelante con toda la, la, la ayuda que se les va a dar en el distrito escolar. En las um, uh, actividades y cosas que we offer, um, you know, we are learning, um, so we are, are trying to do these things that will be fun and engaging. We want students to be creative. One suggestion um, that I had to the teachers is the Typing Pal that you see there. Um, a Typing Pal is something that we're working out. Um, we want all of our students to type, um, so especially obviously in fifth grade going to the middle school. I know that's a lot to translate. Go ahead. Ok, um, Mr. Chad dice que es importante como tener enganchados a los niños en el aprendizaje y los maestros pues van a tener mucho que ver con eso y los niños pueden tener um, eh, o compartir su creatividad para ser exitosos en el programa de la Academia Virtual. And, and this is an example of where we're trying to work things out. Typing Pal, it may be Typing Pal, it may be something else. But we, regardless, we want students to work on their typing skills. And that's a, a um, something very necessary as they are moving on. Los estudiantes van a tener que estar como, como mostrando sus habilidades para escribir, eh, escribiendo en la computadora. Y entonces sí, es necesario que lo hagan. Are we ready? Yes, yeah, sorry for hijacking. No, you, anytime you want to jump in, Please do, and please stop me when I go on. And I, I have, do have something to share with all the parents at the end. That's something that is updating on the website, but I will, I will try to be quiet. And we will be go. these are live Zoom meetings, and I wanted to touch base while we had you all here. And we will be going over these each day um, as part of our netiquette rules. But in our live Zoom meetings, we need to be attentive, find a quiet place away from noise, so you and your classmates can focus. So in the home, if you can find a spot just completely dedicated every single day for their work, that's wonderful. Be on time. I will, we will always try to start the meeting five minutes early so students can start coming in, but join a few minutes early so you're prepared when it starts. And if you have any computer problems, you can work those out. Ok, Hay, eh, aquí tenemos como unas reglas, se podría decir, o unos consejos para hacer las reuniones de Zoom. Es, por ejemplo, estar atento, encontrar un lugar tranquilo donde no haya ruido para que tú puedas estar concentrado en la clase. Estar a tiempo, 
disfrutando las reuniones a un poco, unos minutos antes para estar preparado cuando va a empezar la clase. Um, poner su micrófono en silencio. Su micrófono antes de empezar la reunión debe estar en silencio hasta que le, le corresponda hablar. Si tiene el turno de hablar, entonces lo puede poner en, lo puede prender ahí. All right, and Mitch, mute your microphone. And a lot of times we'll have it muted already when you come in, but just try to keep it muted until it's your turn to speak or you are called on or it is a discussion group. We want to um, make sure that we're using our time efficiently and effectively. Ok, eso yo ya se los había traducido, pero les vuelvo a decir que el micrófono debe ser apagado antes de que empiece la reunión y mantenerlo así hasta que sea su turno uh, correspondiente para hablar. And we understand that um, many of you will have siblings at home or many of you have more than one child at home. And it may be beneficial for you to have headphones for your child so that they it doesn't disrupt the people around them working or um, they are not disrupting others. Okay. Uh, sea respetuoso. Nosotros entendemos que pueden tener hermanitos, que puede haber más personas de la familia alrededor del niño, pero si está en un lugar donde haya más personas, por favor, póngase sus micrófonos o sus headphones para que no interrumpa, no llegue esa interrupción de las personas que están alrededor suyo y se pueda concentrar en la clase. Dress to be stained. Wear clothing that you would wear to school. So we want to make sure that we are presentable. And you may also want to have your computer screen facing a wall so that your back is to the wall. So if somebody's walking by that may not be as presentable at you at the moment, Everyone's not going to stay. Ok, por favor, vístanse como si eh, fueran a venir a la escuela. Queremos verlos como que estén bien presentados cuando estén tomando sus clases porque pues todos ustedes se van a estar bien, entonces estén bien presentados. And finally, stay focused during the live Zoom meetings. We want to keep our comments and questions on the topic being discussed. Eh, estén enfocados y mantengan sus comentarios y sus preguntas hasta que empiece como el tiempo de discutir acerca de ellas. Math testing, um, we will be doing diagnostic tests. It is important that you do not help your child with this test. I know that it is tempting and we all want to help our babies, but we want to make sure that we get an accurate picture of where they're at so we know how to plan our instructional lessons. And if they're worried about it, just encourage them to do their best. If Even if they don't know the answer, they are not penalized and we, we are not saying you're not doing well enough. This is just to figure out where they are because we have been out of school for so long. Okay. La próxima semana van a tener un examen de matemáticas. Uh, es importante que ustedes ayuden a sus niños en el test, pero, por ejemplo, dándoles el papel eh, y el lápiz para que ellos hagan sus... Eh, sus desa o desarrollen sus problemas de matemáticas para que los impulsen a que lo hagan, pero no quiere decir eso que les van a ayudar porque lo que se necesita ver con esto no es que los vayan a penalizar por la nota que saquen en el test, sino que simplemente los maestros quieren saber en qué nivel de matemáticas están para poder hacer una, un plan de instrucción de matemáticas para cada niño. Entonces es importante hacer esto para que los niños, eh, que los maestros hagan el plan y puedan empezar a trabajar con ellos. Ustedes van a recibir más información acerca de la plataforma que se va a usar para el test la próxima semana. Um, that's our last slide, but I did want to add that if your child receives any kind of services before the end of the school year last year, 
they will still receive those services. They are allowed, and if you have not heard any information on that yet, it's just like a regular school year setting at the beginning. They are giving us a couple of weeks to get a routine set, and then they will start letting us know how your child will be served. Ok, uh, si de pronto eh, los niños, alguno de los niños de ustedes eh, al finalizar el año estaban teniendo como una ayuda para matemáticas, entonces eh, como esto de la academia virtual va a ser, eh, se supone que va a ser como si, su, si fuera la escuela, entonces eh, esas ayudas ustedes tienen que hablar para que se les pueda brindar. And I think that that wraps it up for fifth grade. And I know, Ms. Dr. Crumley, you had something. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Muchas gracias. <clears throat> so a couple of things that I wanted to um, share with the parents. Um, one, um, the fourth and fifth grade te uh, teachers did an excellent job of sharing lots of information. Um, and as they continue to reach out, they will um, provide information about usernames and passwords, and that will help get your child started. Ok, uh, las maestras se van a comunicar con ustedes para que, para darles los eh, usernames y los passwords para hacer el login en las clases virtuales. Um, and there is a, a link um, that's called class link. The students are very familiar if they're familiar if they have been a Gainesville City School students before. Um, that's where all of their software programs or their internet programs are based. Once they log in using that username and password, they have all those um, accessible and ready to go. Okay, toda la información de los links, links para las clases, pues los niños están muy familiarizados con toda esa información y todo eso va a estar listo para que los niños puedan empezar con la academia virtual. I wanted to share the website and where you can get some updated information. So if you go to, this is the Gainesville City website. Ustedes van a ir a la a la website de la ciudad de Gainesville, Gainesville City School System, y, y ahí pueden encontrar la información que él está mostrando en este momento. And if you go to the um, schools, and Ustedes all the way se, down to the Gainesville Virtual School. Se van a la parte donde dice escuelas, y hasta lo último dice academia virtual, Gainesville Virtual School. Ahí hacen clic. And once you click on that, Um, you will see a link for the elementary school. If you have a student in the middle and the high school, you can click there as well. Ustedes pueden ver que ahí están los tres links para la elementary school. Si es el niño está en la elementary, pues hacen click en elementary. And if you click on the elementary school, uh, si ustedes entran a la elementary school, um, you will see information there from our first orientation and the slideshow there. Ustedes van a ver ahí la información de la primera orientación. Um, here is the links for all of, all of our faculty. Ahí está el link para la, la información de todos los maestros. This is the general link how to email the contact. Um, uh, it gives you a form if there is some kind of issue that you're having to fill out. Ahí está como un correo electrónico en general de la academia virtual. Ustedes pueden hacer clic ahí y entonces hacer alguna pregunta. Whether it is electronic, whether it's about devices, um, whether it's about um, middle school, high school, that is a form to fill out and we can get some information. Ahí está la forma, no importa si es de cualquiera de elementary, de la middle school, de la high school, pueden hacer la, la pregunta que necesiten. And then this last one is a link and it will actually go to an email. So I'm not going to click on it, but it's just an email link for your technical support at home. Um, and it is support, just the word support at gcssk12.net for all of your device 
internet and technical support while you're at home. Y ahí hay un link que se llama eh, uh, soporte técnico. En caso de que tengan algún problema, ustedes hacen clic ahí y ahí pueden encontrar la ayuda que necesitan. And that is some updated information that you can see there. Um, hopefully, um, our recordings from yesterday and today were a grade level. You will see that uh, soon. Um, and as you are reaching out, or the teachers are reaching out to, um, today and yesterday, um, you can make sure to provide them with any updated contact numbers or emails because that's how we're getting the information out. Um, that's greatly beneficial. Ok, si ustedes de pronto tienen que hacer algún update en la información que, eh, que deben proporcionar al distrito escolar, pues lo deben hacer porque los maestros se van a estar contactando con ustedes. Desde ayer lo están haciendo, contactándose para, para toda la información que se necesita tener lista para empezar clases en la academia virtual. And, and as always, you're more than welcome to reach out to your homeschool and talk to the registrar to update your demographic information, such as your address, your phone number, emails, um, emergency contacts, those kind of things, and they will be happy to help you. Ok, si ustedes de pronto necesitan hacer algún cambio en, en la dirección, en el teléfono, en, los, uh, en las personas que tienen como contacto de emergencia, lo que necesiten, estamos dispuestos a ayudarles. Uh, Miss Wingo, is there any other thing that we may have forgotten? Ok, well at this time, at this time we thank you again for joining us um, and that was lots of information. Um, thank you, Ms. Vargas, for translating for us You're at the welcome. last minute. Happy yeah. Friday, everyone. Thank you for uh, our fourth grade and our fifth grade teachers um, and parents and families. We can't wait to get this started. And again, we are working all together to build this Gainesville Virtual School and make, us, make it very successful for you. And um, we can't wait. Here we go. Okay. Gracias a los padres. Bye. Bye. Have a great weekend. You